everybody, it's fall in the Northern Hemisphere and it's time for the charities to put out a call for warm clothing and accessories. And as you can see here, I've been getting my donations ready. Now I often talk about how important it is to wash your items before donating. And there's the obvious reasons because you want them to smell fresh, you want to get rid of any pet hair, pet dander, um, you know, things like that. But there's also the added benefit of the fact that cheaper acrylic yarn becomes considerably softer when it goes through the laundry process. Now I get question after question about my method for getting this done. And basically it's simple. I just wash them like I would wash regular clothes. But people want to know, what is their setting? How long do you put it in there? You know, all that stuff. So that's what this video is for. Now I've tried numerous tips and tricks that people have either shared with me or I've read on Pinterest or Ravelry or something like that. And uh, even, even soaking in hair conditioner. And I will say that that worked really well for natural fibers because it's hair, you know, so it makes sense. But it didn't work so well for me on acrylic because acrylic is a type of plastic. You know, and it just doesn't absorb and it's not affected by the, the conditioner. You really need that, the breaking down and the movement in the washer, I think, to get that true uh, softening effect. So what I'm showing you here is what works best for me. And you know, an added benefit of this is the fact that in shelters, they're so busy, they are not going to take the time to hand wash and dry flat any special fibers. Uh, for these people when they come in for the night. They're just going to wash their clothes with, you know, generally with the hottest uh, setting available to make sure everything is nice and clean and critters are killed or anything that needs to be done. So, um, you know, as a matter of fact, I have already done a video a while back about tips and tricks that you may not have thought of when you are getting ready to send your handcrafted items to a charity. So I'll put a link to that in the description box or there should be that new YouTube card it's called, looks like an eye with a circle in it. If you click on that you'll see um, the link pop up and you can just tap on your tablet or phone and click on your computer and it'll take you right there. Now I have enough to fill my heavy duty size washer two times, so I'm not washing mine with any other clothes. Because they're almost all man-made material, specifically acrylic, I really don't need to worry about dye transfer or fading, so I just toss them all in together. I'm not trying to get out dirt or grease, so cheap detergent is just fine for this job. Most of the time, I don't use fabric softener, but since I'm really trying hard to soften these items, I'm going to use it here. Now, in the case of these snake scarves where I use the eyes, I don't want the eyes to get scratched up by tossing them around in the washer so and the dryer because they could bounce into the side. So in this case, I'm going to use a lingerie bag that has these tiny little holes, and that will add a little... Um, cushion against the eyes, so just a barrier between the washer and dryer sides and the plastic of the eyes. And then I'm going to toss them in like this. Is it a surefire cure? No, but it's better than nothing at all. I would also recommend using bags like this if you're going to wash your items with other clothes, because if you have a pair of pants like with zippers or hooks or something like that, you don't want them to get caught this would be kind of a way to act as a preventative measure. Because there are no other clothes in there, I'm going to wash them on normal casual. I'd use delicate for fewer items or hand wash for better yarn, but not for this. Normal casual will do. This setting is warm wash, cold rinse. After the wash cycle, I kind of check everything as I transfer it to the dryer. If something came loose, you may be able to do a quick repair. I've only had this happen one time. I must be really good at sewing in ends. Who no, knew? No. I rarely use fabric softener these days since I discovered wool dryer balls from Mountain Meadow Wool. Um, click or tap the eye in the corner of your screen for a video that explains why if you haven't seen it. Anyway, I'll use those balls and half a dryer sheet to help soften up these acrylics. 
and in the dryer here I'll use my casual settings because it's low heat. However, somehow all this acrylic fools my dryer sensor. It thought everything was dry, but it wasn't, so I threw in a clean dry towel to help spread out the moisture and let it run for about 15 more minutes. When the dryer finishes, be sure to get them out while they're warm so you can shape them if needed. You should feel a considerable difference in the texture of these inexpensive acrylics, but whatever you do, don't forget to clean your lint filter. Yuck! Now, when they come out of the dryer, sometimes they're bent like this. So while they're still warm, you want to straighten them out. This is kind of like a, a different version of blocking. We've washed, we've dried, and now we want them to look nice and neat. So that's what I'm going to do is lay them all out to cool in the right position. See, for example, flowers are a mess. So you need to fix your hat and straighten out the flowers. If for some reason they don't look like you want them to, like maybe they cooled before you got a chance, just spritz them with some water and then put them like you like and then they'll dry right. Another good thing about taking the time to do this is it gives you a chance to examine your hats for any mistakes or whatever. I did not apparently sew the top of this in well, so I'm going to pull it tightly and sew my end in. And then here I have a pom-pom that could definitely use a little trim job. I really like washing and drying the pom-poms because they get so much more fluffy. So I'll just go back around and give this one a little better trim job. But see, it gives you a chance to look over your work and make sure everything's in good order. Now, it's worth noting that I use this method for anything that is at least 70% acrylic. Anything uh, with less acrylic than that, you run the risk of, uh, well, it just has too many natural fibers to take the heat and um, wear and tear that the washing cycle gives it. But this, for example, is a 70% uh, acrylic, 30% wool, and it works just fine. It does get a little halo-y over here, but I think that's kind of neat. But it worked really well washing and drying. So I hope that answered your questions about my method of softening inexpensive acrylic yarn. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section below, and, and I'll be happy to get back to you on that. So um, have fun creating your gifts. Talk soon. Bye.